Okay, so my number one is also kind of all around the globe. Um, it's a movie called Catch Me If You Can from mm-hmm. 2002, directed by Steven Spielberg. Might have heard of him. Um, starring Leo, Tom Hanks, Christopher Walken, Amy Adams, a bunch of other people. Uh, quick logline, barely 21 yet, Frank is a skilled forger who has passed as a doctor, lawyer, and pilot. FBI agent Carl becomes obsessed with tracking down the con man who only revels in the pursuit. Uh, Okay, so I put this on my list (coughs) because adventure doesn't always have to be, you know, a sand laden mess with your blood bank tied in front of your car. It just just doesn't, you know. (laughs) Uh, You can just be taking a ride across the globe in slick looking uniforms with beautiful people sipping yeah. martinis and that is also adventure um you know for me personally a lot of the adventure trips that i've taken i'm just like traveling around the world have happened to be solo and though there is always a sense of loneliness mm-hmm. with those there's also this interesting sense of excitement when you are totally by yourself in a new place where for that brief period You can be whoever you want to be. Mm, You can partake in whatever adventure you want to partake in and, and sort of come back home after that, you know? So I think this movie captures that sense of thrill and adventure Mm. um, that you can sort of do anything. Uh, You're for the most part in total control of whatever you're trying to get away with. I mean, I'm not, trying to you know hint that i'm some secret con man no far from <laughs> it so if, if anybody's getting that idea that's you know i apologies but yeah but more of just like you know if you're for i don't know weekend in new orleans you can sort of blend in or whatever you know mm-hmm. so i don't know i this movie always has that kind of tongue-in-cheek kind of adventure spirit to it in a very micro kind of way mm-hmm. there are no grand things i mean i guess there's a grand con that's happening but Every episode of his life is pretty micro in that sense, but it's still very elevated because of his sense of adventure. Um, Of course, this movie is about many, many other things like Mm -hmm. fathers and sons and legacy and chasing and never being caught or the obsession of chasing somebody and this weird bond that you form form, might form with somebody who's chasing you. So the, the movie is about lots of different things, but to me, ultimately this movie is super fun Mm -hmm. uh and i think a lot of it has to do with of course spielberg um but then head to toe i think it's just a brilliantly crafted movie but i'll speak more of that but what about you have had you seen it before or yeah yeah Yeah, i'd seen this when it came out in theaters like i see all the spielberg's one of my favorite directors and anything he does i'll i'll check out um good or bad and this one was it did a very uh uh appeared was putting a lot of films out and a lot of good films yeah. during this sort of early 2000s period. And I think this one falls really well into that category. You know, Leo's becoming like a super movie star. He's growing, he's trying to stretch himself a little bit in this period too. So it's always interesting to go back and watch films that he was in during this time to see him kind of grow as an actor. Um, he's one of my favorite actors, but I think it's interesting watching him. You can tell him getting better over time. Like he didn't kind of come yeah. right out of the gate as a great actor. Um, so it's, it's nice to see him kind of stretching himself. Um, it's not a a Spielberg film I watch quite often. Like, I think I've probably seen it three or four times before seeing it for, for watching it again for this podcast. And it was interesting. Like I did in my head have memories of it kind of exactly how you describe it as like a fun, you know, more light kind of fair. For some reason, this time it struck me as, as, as sort of sad, sadder in terms of the reason why, you know, he's running away from this pain and using adventure yeah. to cover up this awful thing that happened in his life with his parents' divorce, um, him feeling like he could never live up to his dad. I don't know. Those themes came across a lot more to me um, for some reason <laughs> when I was watching it this time. Um, that is also another side of being adventurous. It's like, why are you, why do you want to go out there and be adventurous? And he had a reason of running away from who he was mm-hmm. and not facing up to certain things about himself or things in his own life, um, which that's not a good or bad reason to try to be adventurous, but that definitely is a side of it for sure. Like sometimes you do want to escape from something as opposed to inhabit, you know, kind of for the fun of it, inhabit another personality for a little bit. Um, No, you want to escape from who you actually are. And I think that's what he's doing throughout this entire, entire movie. 
Um, he's almost sort of like challenging himself to catch himself, like because totally. he's running away from himself the whole time is all that is all that this is. Um, totally. So it did really, yeah. I was I was more saddened and moved by it in that way than I had remembered it being a little more of a lighter Spielberg. I would put this no, this is a, this is actually a very serious movie dealing with a lot of very serious themes um, around adventure. Like I think the adventure yeah. piece of it, I was really looking at it this time. I was like, oh yeah, his adventure is running away from himself. Um, did, did you kind of feel That's that very too? Well put. Very well put. And and yeah, this movie has always kind of hit me in that way. But this year, especially after, you know, watching The Fablemans, I just couldn't right, help right. think about Spielberg's own life, right? Like uh, why he made this movie, which is, you know, just so impressive that how this master filmmaker has now contextualized his entire life. Mm-hmm. Thank and that's why I'm very appreciative of what he created last year. Me too. So yeah. I think the stakes were elevated even more watching this movie this time around. Uh, because in some ways maybe he himself has also been running away from his life or trying to catch himself through movies. For sure. Uh, he certainly yeah. has used movies to contextualize his own pain and deal with his own traumas. So there's very interesting parallels. So if you think about that, you know, it made me it moved me even more, not just for Leo's journey, but Spielberg's journey, actually. <laughs> That's a really good point. I think this movie pairs very well, not to get too much in the Fablemans. I mean, I also loved yeah. it as well. I had seen it and then watched Catch Me If You Can again. So you're right. Maybe that's why these things yeah. bubble up more in me, because I understand Spielberg more as a, as a man. Um, yeah. But this pairs very well with Fablemans. I think, I uh, think so, too. Yeah. It, it makes this movie better. It elevates this film, actually, elevates to watch it. Fablemans and, and understand Spielberg a little bit better. And then you can see how he funnels that into into his art. Um, yeah, I totally agree. The other thing that I kept thinking of and, and kind of build on what you were saying is that for me, adventure and leaving home is only meaningful if you can come back to home, you know? Right. But if you have no home to go back to and no reason to go back to, then the whole thing sort of becomes one giant soup in a way that you're always running away. You're always on the treadmill and there's no separation between what is adventure versus not. So I don't know, watching this movie again, this time from that lens of depth made me think of that too, that, I like adventure because I know at the end of the day, I'm going to come back home to the people I love and sleep in my own bed and what have you. And it's always that feeling when I get back the next, the, the, the first night that I sleep in my own bed, there is a sense of calm and really relief, but also yeah. appreciation for everything one, you know, one went on. So mm-hmm. this is why this movie was kind of my number one, because it has those fun aspects and, pretending to be whoever you want to be and the magic and the thrill that comes with it. But then also this reckoning that adventure after all is about coming home at some point. Well, yeah, never, yeah, no, I've never thought about that before. You're right. An adventure implies or, uh, now to me, especially now that you say this adventure implies there is a return and you yeah. do come back as, as a changed person, you learn from those experience, whatever, but you do come back to something. And I think that's the struggle of, leo's character in this film like he's on an adventure to never go back and how long yeah. can that go and it, it this film shows you can't run forever like you will yeah get caught you know by the the feds you know tom hanks chasing him but also like you'll get caught up and just not uh in, with yourself of like you have no direction exactly. that, can, that can't last forever at some point you have to just kind of try to to, to find a home somewhere um yeah and he almost does he you almost know, like- does yeah, the whole sequence of Amy Adams and him watching uh, Amy's parents kind of rock into the same Judy Garland yes. song in the kitchen. Yeah, you know, there's a moment where you sort of feel like, oh, he might just give all this up, and maybe he's finding that lost love of his parents and the lost childhood, you know, through this new family. But right. of course, you know, he's not going to do that. Um, Um, The last thing I would say on this is just like Spielberg's mastery, you know, when it comes to, I mean, he's a master of composing shots, but watching this movie, I've seen it many times too, but now, especially again, like every little composition, the period detail, which is not hokey or underlining that, oh, we are in a period. No, you're, (laughs) it's just so naturalistic, but yet elevated, uh, 
the script is so elegant. Yeah. The pacing of the movie, the editing of the movie is so great. The cut back, back and forth between present time and what happened before. Like, it's just such a neat little jewel box of a movie. And I think that's why a lot of people probably felt this was like a lighter Spielberg fair because you're not sitting for hours and hours like a Lincoln, which I also right. love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In like, yeah. you know, heavy dialogue with a lot of space. And so you can almost kind of dismiss this one. But no, actually, as we've established through our chat conversation as well, that there's a lot of depth. It's just deceptively look made. It sort of looks very effortless, mm -hmm. uh, but that doesn't mean it doesn't have depth to it and craftsmanship to it. Definitely. Um, I think that it is, speaks to a lot of him as a, as a filmmaker. Like, I think that is yeah. his skill. Like he has so much pain that he's carried with him. You know, now we know from the Fablemans what his life was like, and he tries to wrap things around that of fun adventure, you know, uh, all the Spielberg touches and things like that. But at the core of most of his films, even the mo most successful ones, there is that pain and, and heaviness and yeah. he's dealing with really major themes but you can enjoy it on both levels. Like it's fun, but then exactly. when you think about it, you're like, oh my gosh, it's, uh, you know, there's really touching us with things. I, I second everything you mentioned. I just want to call out one other aspect of this film that we haven't talked about yet is John Williams' score, I think is just fantastic. Oh, same. One yeah. of his best later uh, collaborations with Spielberg, for sure. I mean, that whole opening totally. theme, uh, that whole so sequence, good. like Saul Bass inspired, just with that like kind of jazzy uh yeah, uh, main theme. Uh, this score of this movie is is just fantastic. So I wanted to call John out on that too. Um, I as couldn't a agree more. Key part of this film. Yeah, totally, totally. Um, yeah, and, and honestly, I'd almost forgotten the score of this movie. And I, the moment the credit sequence rolled in, I was like, yeah. "Oh gosh, yeah, I remember this." And this is so amazing. And yeah, I mean, look, I, we've already talked about scores and how brilliant John Williams is, but. Mm -hmm. As you know, and listeners might know that I'm always drawn to kind of the more ambient, story-driven, non-sort of, you know, a theme for somebody right. kind of blockbuster film score, which I appreciate. I know you like that more yeah, than I do. Yeah, that's my style, too. like, yeah. But this one kind of really fits in my wheelhouse. So mm -hmm. it's just so fun to see John Williams do something like that, where it's not sort of blockbuster -y, you know, adventure, the sharks are going to kill us, but yes, it's fun times. It's not that score. <laughs> this is, it really underscores the story and the characters and it's sort of there on the side. Uh, so I loved it. Yeah, Good no, point. I mean, he wanted to be a jazz musician and has a big interest yeah. in that. And it rarely comes across in his movie scores because he fits into the more like his career kind of took off copying more of the classic uh, or not copying right but mimicking more of those classic 30s kind of like cor corn gold large orchestral scores right. i really like but it's fun to see him dabbling in his true passion i think which was jazz music and it has a lot of the elements in the score so just i wanted yeah. to call the score out it's one of my favorites so good hey there it's alex if you like the review and discussion Kron and i just had Make sure you subscribe to our channel, Movies That Shaped Us, to get full episodes. Every other Wednesday, Karan and I cover a topic around important people, places, events, and moments in our lives, and then explore it through three of our favorite movies. Subscribe right now, or follow our podcast on Spotify or Apple Podcasts via the link in the description below. Hope you join us for the journey.